Hey everyone, my name is Benjamin and I'm one of the students working with Dr. Van Zant on his moth phenology research. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown on the methodology for a phenology experiment and the process we go through before we can turn an unidentifiable moth into a useful data point sitting in our lab. There are thousands of moth species in Alabama. There are even hundreds of different moth species on Birmingham Southern College's campus alone. Unfortunately, we can't track and count all these different species due to the fact that many species are incredibly difficult to identify just by sight alone, without also doing more time-intensive techniques such as genitalia dissection to help identify them. And even though there are thousands of species in Alabama, there's no guarantee that you will catch one particular species in high enough numbers to analyze statistically or even catch it all. Due to these constraints, we focus on tracking just 14 moth species which we call our focal species. Our focal species are Alotria elonympha, Ativa aria, Catocala amica, Chitonyx palantricula, Dilocolia olinalis, Halcidota tessellaris, Hormothodes lindsayi, Hypoprepia fucosa, Idia americalis, Malacosoma americanum, Merimotha nigrofimbria, Nodata gibosa, Polygramate hebraceum, and Spilosoma congrua. All of these focal species are easily recognizable and abundant at all of our collection sites, which allows us to get accurate species counts and emergence data. It's important that a species can be found at all three sites. If a moth species is absent from one or more of the sites, we cannot compare the emergent times between all of the sites.